In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation KCl plus CaNO3 2. This is potassium chloride plus calcium nitrate. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. And this here is the molecular equation. So I can see that I have these two nitrate ions here and just one here. So I'll put a two in front of the KNO3. Now the nitrates are balanced. I have two potassium ions. So I'll put two here, those are balanced, two chlorines, put a two here, and I have a calcium here, calcium here, that's balanced. Looks like everything is balanced at this point. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, potassium compounds very soluble, so we write AQ, dissolves, it'll dissociate, split into its ions. Nitrates also very soluble, AQ, we have another nitrate here, and then we have chlorides, very soluble, so AQ as well. And you'll notice right away, everything is aqueous. That means everything is dissolved. These are all split up into their ions, and these are all split up into their ions. In fact, everything is considered a spectator ion here. So if we crossed out our spectator ions, we'd cross them all out, we'd end up with nothing. That means there's no reaction. Think of it this way. At the beginning of the reaction, we had all of these ions here floating around in the water. When we were done, we had the same ions still floating around in the water. There's no precipitate or no gas or liquids evolved. So we don't have a net ionic equation. We don't have a reaction. This is Dr. B looking at the net ionic equation for KCl plus CaNO3 2. And the answer is there isn't one. There's no reaction. Thanks for watching.